Hello again, everyone. Uh, here I am again. I'm um, reading in the book of Hebrews right now. And God knows I'm a new believer to the aspect of trying, trying to get to know the Lord through the Bible, through devotionals, things like that, going to church, going to celebrate recovery, doing step studies, and all that is just trying to um, have a closer relationship with the Lord. And uh, the Lord also um, is a caring Lord, caring Father, and uh, he warns against um, going astray, being discouraged, stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to read a passage out of Hebrews here. It's a warning against unbelief. And that is uh, Hebrews chapter 2, verses 7 through 11. So here we go. So, as the Holy Spirit says, Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as you did in the rebellion during the time of testing in the wilderness when your ancestors tested and tried me through for 40 years, they saw what I did. That is why I was angry with that generation. I said, their hearts are always going astray and they have not known my ways. So I declared an oath in my anger, they shall never enter my rest. And that's a huge warning that I shall follow the Lord's directions the best I can. And when I don't, I definitely shall repent. I have to repent all the time because I'm a sinful human being. So we're going to go into... Uh, Chapters, uh, or I should say, verses 12 through 15 now. See to it, brothers and sisters, that none of you has a sinful, unbelieving heart that turns away from the living God. But encourage one another daily, as long as it is called today, so that none of you may be hardened by sin's deceitfulness. We have come to share in Christ, if indeed we hold our original conviction, conviction firmly to the very end, as just been said. Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as you did in the rebellion. And um, I'm listening for his voice when I was in Desert Storm. Not Desert Storm, but Iraqi Freedom, 2003, up in the guard tower. I prayed for Jesus' return. I said, the world as we know it, coming to an end, we as human race are not making it, and that's true. And uh, these verses really um, wake me up. So anyway, I'm glad I can share. And I'm only human like the rest of you, but... Um, I do my I do the best I can to stay in the word and to follow the Lord. With that I say amen. Have a great day.